So you see this video here, Brian Cox explains quantum mechanics. That I've never gotten Brian Cox recommended in my YouTube feed before. But last night on TikTok, I was watching a bunch of Brian Cox because he was popping up and I, I watched the entire duration of the videos. So never being recommended before on YouTube, now he appears on my homepage. Same with this Batman clip. I don't get Batman clips usually, but last night I watched a Batman game clip and now it's getting recommended here. TikTok and YouTube and Elon Musk. I was watching Elon Musk on TikTok and now he's popping on my home feed too. They're linked, man. YouTube and TikTok, they're listening to each other of what you're watching. Up till yesterday, my video recommendations used to be at least three to five minutes long, uh, oftentimes longer, but now look at these video lengths, 44 seconds, one minute, one minute, 45, 30 seconds. I didn't even watch this and it says that I watched it. One minute, 52 seconds, one minute, 22 seconds. It's just the duration of the videos recommended is drastically reduced compared to yesterday in just a single day. Last night, I did something that I haven't done in over two years. I opened TikTok and went down the rabbit hole. And the first video that I saw on TikTok was a corrupt cop that eventually gets into trouble because the person who is being targeted by the cop is very competent. On YouTube, I was just watching a video about corrupt cops getting caught. So that made me immediately think, oh, TikTok is looking at my YouTube feed and recommending me stuff that I watched on YouTube. I only watched one of those videos. I've never seen those videos before on YouTube or TikTok, but now that I watched it on YouTube, it's popping up first thing on TikTok. So TikTok is catering to what you're watching on YouTube and YouTube is catering to what you're watching on TikTok. The difference in my YouTube homepage on TV was so stark and drastically changed. I thought I had logged out and I wasn't in my account anymore because it was so different. On the YouTube website, they say, to provide video recommendations on the homepage, we primarily rely on your watch history. Now I guess what they mean is not just your YouTube watch history, but also your TikTok watch history, Instagram watch history, and any other watch history from any other platform. These algorithms are scary, man. One thing I'm not gonna do tonight is go down the TikTok rabbit hole again. I am not a fan of these short form videos. It feels like my attention span is getting shorter and shorter. And plus it fucks up my YouTube homepage, so I don't like that either. Maybe I'll indulge in it in another year or two. I'll see you in two days. 1% better every day, baby. There is a blue jay. What are you taking it? What are you taking? <laughs> <laughs>